Welcome back to Amy Lynn Creative. If you're new here, I am a brand photographer and videographer and I teach other photographers on this channel. In today's video, we're talking about three ways to organize your client information, ranging from totally free to a monthly subscription. So I'm gonna share with you those three ways in this video. It's gonna be a screen video, so I'm gonna be showing you my computer screen instead of my face, you're welcome. <laughs> But I'm going to show you three different ways. Um, we'll be talking about CRMs, we'll be talking about Trello boards, and spreadsheets. So here we go, let's dive in. Okay, welcome to my computer screen. I am going to be sharing three different ways to keep your client information organized. These systems work best if you're a portrait photographer or brand photographer. I will discuss wedding photography client management in a different video, but this is specifically for portrait photography because there's a specific session date that's not too far in the distant future and there's not as much um, client communication going on. So first of all, let's start off with the objective here. I'm showing you three different ways to keep your clients organized, but the overall objective for each of these is to have your active clients in some kind of system or workflow that allows you to see where everyone's at, see who's paid and who hasn't, their contact information, when their session is um, in one place so that you can go to it and stay organized so you don't miss a session or double book yourself, in theory. Um, I'm starting with a spreadsheet system and you can use any spreadsheet system you want depending on the computer you have. I am showing you a spreadsheet system in Google Sheets because it's free and available to anyone with a, an internet connection and a Gmail um, email address, so it's the most universal um, spreadsheet offering option. This is a portrait photography client worksheet, and this first tab, you can see I have three tabs down at the bottom, active clients, mini sessions, and past clients. And this active clients is for anyone who's kind of in your pipeline, um, meaning you haven't delivered their gallery yet. This is um, assuming you are delivering a gallery of images. This is not necessarily an in-person sales workflow, either you've you could absolutely adjust the spreadsheet for that. Um, you are absolutely welcome to copy this spreadsheet. Um, I do have this spreadsheet for sale in my shop for a few dollars if you want to save yourself the time and effort. Um, but you're absolutely welcome to copy this, obviously. Um, hit pause and go ahead and copy it. Uh, this is the active client's workflow, as I said. You can see here I have the client name and email. I have set this up so that it um, these two columns stay by themselves so that I can view these different um, columns, but this is cell number, type of session, so whether it's a newborn session, family session, the location, you could put in an address or um, that field outside of town or whatever, session, date, and time, uh, client notes, so I like to put the kids' names because I always forget those, so I try to put everywhere or, or kids and dad. Um, in the client notes section or if there's anything they specifically told me that they wanted a specific pose or something like that I would put that in client notes as well and then we have the total price that they are paying whether or not they have paid their retainer and whether or not they have paid in full I could probably add another column here you could check um, contract signed yes or no but I'm kind of including that in the retainer paid column you could change the name of that if you wanted to and then gallery delivered and then once it says yes in gallery delivered you would then go ahead and cut this client out of active clients and you would paste it into or paste the information into past clients and over here I have a couple different options I have email cell type of session and then um, their gallery link and password and the expiration date for their gallery. I like to keep these in one place because if they lose the email that I send them, um, I can quickly look up who, whose gallery link is what and what their password is. 
So here's the past clients section. And then I have a separate se section here for mini sessions. And this is because the way I run mini sessions, it's a little bit different than the way I run my regular sessions. And for this one, the date and the time would be the most important thing. And then I would just fill in, I would fill in ahead of time. You know, when I was setting these up, I'd fill in the dates I was doing for mini sessions and then the session times that I was offering and then just fill in with the clients that booked those slots and then whether or not they paid the retainer, paid in full, gallery delivered, um, you could add another column here. Um, and I actually haven't listed this spreadsheet in my shop yet, so I might add a little bit to it, so it might look a little bit different. Um, but you could add a column here that said um, contract signed, like I said, or um, sent client magazine. If you have a magazine or a guide that you send to your clients before their family session, like how to dress for your session, things like that, you could check off in here if you'd actually sent that or not. Pretty straightforward, but um, keeps everybody in one place. The next system we're going to look at is Trello. Now, Trello has a free option and a page option. Uh, sorry, and a paid option. And we are looking at the free version. Um, I have never paid for Trello. I use just the free options, and it's a great little system for keeping things organized. Um, Trello is essentially like a digital pin board. And so this is called, this is this portrait photography client workflow is called a board. And these are called lists. So each of these sections is called a list. And then you can have cards on that list. So the, there's a billion different ways you could set this up. It's very flexible. Um, and I encourage you to set up a Trello board the way your brain works. Your brain might not work like my brain. Um, in fact, I hope it doesn't work like my brain. <laughs> it's pretty messed up in there, but this is the way that makes sense to me. So this is the way I've laid it out. Um, it goes against Trello's terms of service to sell these boards. Um, so they are complimentary and I will make this one public so that you can access it um, by searching portrait photography client workflow in Trello's library of boards. So this will be um, free and available for you to use. Um, really very simple, very similar to the spreadsheet system, just in a different format. Um, one thing that's nice about Trello, now Google Sheets are obviously, there's an, a mobile app for that as well, but um, Trello has a really awesome mobile app. So what's really nice about this is that there is a mobile app where you can see all of these things um, very easily and you can edit them and modify them, all that stuff in on your mobile phone as well as on your computer. So let's look here at our lists. First of all, we have booked, paid, send client guide. See, I put it in here and not in my spreadsheet. I'll have to fix that. Um, call, edit, deliver, and then past clients over here. Here you can see this card, it says template. So I would just basically make new cards. This is the client card. And if you click on it, there's a box for information right here. And this is where I put their cell phone number their email, their session location, type, date and time, price, notes, gallery link, and password. So all of that information. And then I have a reminder down here to set the due date as the session date and time. So you can actually set a due date for this and um, it can send notifications to your phone. So that's kind of handy. And down here, there's a checklist. So you can add a checklist. You can add labels to this. So you can label this as family session and color it. Let's label it orange and create. So you could have different labels and there's, so there's a checklist here and you can complete this checklist and it will show you the progress. You can see that over there and you can write comments and notes down here as well. And then you can see here, it says create card from template and create a new one. Let's see. So Jane Doe has booked. We are going to put her cell phone number in here and her email. All right. So I put all that information in here. We're going to call this a family session as well. Let's say this client has paid. Then I'm going to pick this card up and pop it into paid. This is really helpful because once you start having more clients, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and create a card again. Once you have multiple clients, you can have them in different lists and different stages of your process. And it's really, really easy to see where everybody is at in the process. So that's 
an example of how to use Trello for your client management. And then we're going to look at HoneyBook. Now, HoneyBook is a paid offering. It is, I will put a discount code in the description below and it gives you a dollar, gives you HoneyBook for a dollar a month for several months. Um, it's a really great deal. They've actually never run that deal before this year. Um, so it's a really great opportunity to try out HoneyBook and see if it works well for your business. I actually use HoneyBook for all my clients. This is a dummy company that I set up. That sounds really illegal. I set up a fake company. Still sounds illegal. Um, I just set up an example. There we go. An example company so that you can see without me showing you my actual clients um, because that is uncool. So you can see this is actually set up to, similar to the spreadsheet or Trello. Up here, you've got these different stages. And what's different about HoneyBook is that it's going to automate some of these things for you. So it's automatically going to put stuff in different buckets depending on what you've done. Um, it also has a lot more options as far as setting up um, your clients. You can send contracts. They can pay. They can e-sign. So this is really an all-in-one CRM solution. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. And so this is a really all-in-one CRM system. The thing is you have to pay for it. So if you're just getting started, this might not be um, something you need. For someone who has been working a full-time job and doing photography as a side hustle for many years, um, HoneyBook has kind of saved my sanity. Because it's an all-in-one system, I have one place I can go for everything, including payments. And that's something that's been really valuable to me because I have limited time. So we're going to create a new project. This is actually set up as an interior design company, so don't mind me. I apologize. I know everything else has been photography. Create project. I hope that's not an actual email address. So you add your client, and you can see here that you all of a sudden have this whole area for this one client. Uh, you can go over to files and you can add files into this filing cabinet. Um, you can have payments, invoices, all the stuff in here. Activity actually syncs with your email. You can send emails through this system, both Trello and the spreadsheet. You would need to have, you know, your email set up that in an organized manner so that information from your email, you can copy and paste over to Trello into the spreadsheet. Whereas, um, with HoneyBook or there's other CRM, systems as well. Um, Dubsado is another really, really popular one. Um, and 17 hats is another one that people have liked as well. Um, all of these systems, they connect with your email so that you can actually send client emails directly through this system. And they're all set up by project and by client. So that all your emails with that client are in one dashboard, which is really, really nice. You can do a new file. You can send a contract, a brochure, a questionnaire, um, it's really an all-in-one system. I'm not going to harp on about it. You can research it for yourself. You can do a free trial. Click the link in the description um, to get the $1 a month deal. And um, feel free to comment if you have questions about it. Or you can follow along with me on Instagram, Amy Lynn Creative underscore for photogs. I answer your questions every Monday. So that is a quick overview of these three systems. Um, again, check the description for links and things, but I hope this was helpful and please like and subscribe if it was so that I can make more videos for you.